Hi everyone, me and my mum today are going to do a science experiment. This is the book we're using and this is what it is. It's called Tomato in a Jar. For things today, we'll need a jar and a little washing up soap. Um, so let's get started. So what do you need to do first? First, you, um, that, uh, that's the first. Uh, yep, that one. Mm -hmm. Fill it down with water. <laughs> that, that's about Okay, it. and what next? <laughs> and uh, a little washing up liquid. Put the little washing up liquid. Yeah, I think that's more than a, a little. Okay. <laughs> that's and it. then what do you it's need? It's just trying different amount. Yep, that's okay. Put the lid on tight and give it a good shake. Good okay, shake. Okay, a good shake. I'm gonna shake it. Oh my gosh, it's all white. Whoa. It's all okay. white. Oh my gosh, <coughs> the bubbles are all right. It's yeah, hot. so what does it say about the bubbles? Let the water settle. You, you will see, you will see a thick layer of bubbles. Oh, I know you. Right, number one. Now up to number two. Hold the jar with one hand on top and one hand on the bottom. Quickly move the jar around and round in a circular motion. Okay, I'm just going to show you. Thing. I've done this with my class. This is what you do. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a tornado! It's a tornado! So that's how you need to do it. So at the bottom and you move your arms, okay? That's it. So you've got to wiggle your bottom. That's the key. So wiggle, 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 wiggle. Right, and stop. See if it's like the tornado? <laughs> Whoa. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, and Okay. What does it look like? Oh, can you hold it to the camera? Yeah, I'm holding it. Right, uh, not doing it. Is it doing it? Yeah. Is it doing it? Is it? I don't think it's working that much. Not working that much. It did it the first time. There it is. Wow! There it is. Tornado! Tornado! And that's a cloud. I don't know if I can see it on the video. Ah, yeah. It's so, it did say it. quickly move the oh. jar around in a circular motion, get the liquid spinning. That. Watch the tornado go. The tornado is wider at the top, so it's wider at the top oh. and narrower at the bottom. So let's try again. We'll see if we can do it. Yeah, it's wider at so the top. So wider at the top. It's it's wider at the top and lower. Yeah. That's it. And set the jar down on a table as the bubbles spin, the shape they will make change. What do you see? Okay. Maybe for a long time. Well, it's all white. Whoa. It's good for this weather. Sorry if you hear the weather. It's very, I think it's a bit loud. Okay, so this book's really good because it tells us what the science is behind it. So, moving the jar in a circle forces the water to the sides of the jar. So it's trying to push out because it's going around. But the like walls clap, of the you, jar... Like you clap out. Well, you clap. Well, kind of, but it's science in there. <laughs> So you're spinning and the water wants to go out, but the, the walls of the jar stop it. You can't do anything. They can't go anywhere. So that's what makes it spin around. Gravity pulls the water down at the same time. So you end up with that funnel shape. Real tornadoes, like the one in these pictures, that ones the pictures can spin as fast as 480 
kilometres an hour. I don't think Alan is spinning that fast. But maybe a little bit fast. Yes, well, if I, I was yeah. yeah. So is that an easy experiment? Yes. Do you think everyone else would be able to do that? Yes. So what do you need? You need a jar with. But what's in the jar? Water and dishwashing liquid. We might try it again. Maybe we can try with some more dishwashing liquid. Yeah, let's try right. again. What are you gonna say? Bye bye. See you later. Peace out.